So radiotherapy is used to treat uh, cancer patients and basically a very intense beam of x-rays is pointed at the tumor. Problem is the tumor is inside the patient so you can't see it. And now the development that I worked on, together with my colleagues of course, is uh, to add an imaging device to the treatment machine such that we can actually see where the tumor is and, and adjust the treatment such that we exactly hit the tumor. The Comium CT scan was uh, first built with a lot of parts that he found on the flea market in Amsterdam. And it's, it's wonderful that this has uh, been the basis of this great new invention that has been now implemented worldwide. I'm really a computer man or a hardware man. I like electronics, I like building things and you know the after deciding that maybe uh, building your own spacecraft was a little bit, little bit out of reach, I thought using electronics for medicine was very nice. So, uh, so yeah, that was a, that was a long-standing dream uh, since I was a small boy. And, and actually, uh, that, uh, that has materialized with this development. We started developing on uh, this machine uh, somewhere in the year 2001, first on the software side. Like many developments in cancer treatment, it all starts with research projects. So we got a lot of funding from the Dutch Cancer Foundation. But eventually, to make a system that is used clinically, you have to collaborate with companies because they can put it into the market and, and, and deliver it to hospitals. As a researcher, you can't do that. So the, what is special about this machine is that actually uh, the hospital acted as a subcontractor, so we developed a part of the system, the software part of the system, uh, with the company, and that is ex exactly what is delivered now. When the company was making a, a prototypes, we got one of those prototypes, and, uh, and we were discussing that maybe they would sell a couple per year, but that's, that's not how it went. You know, the, when uh, they had the imaging equipment on the treatment machines, everybody wanted the image equipment. So there are a couple of thousand of these machines uh, worldwide and all of these machines are equipped with the imaging and our careful estimate is that now six million people have been treated with this type of equipment. Marcel has a, has a great personality and he's very enthusiastic. He, he makes a whole team work together and for him there are no boundaries, so anything is possible. He has the mind that, you, that he knows what our problems are and, and he's solving it. Here a CT scanner is integrated with the treatment machine. But what is coming now is that an MR scanner is integrated with the treatment machine, which is a very cool development. But actually, I think we should not only think about the patient uh, during treatment, we should also look at all the biological uncertainties that are related to the treatment. And so a lot of the research that I do now is related to the biological uncertainties. And so one of the things that we found is that if you have a minute um, uh, error in the position of the patient, you can see that that has an impact on survival. And that has to do with normal tissue toxicity, which changes as the patient in a different place. And so this, that's based on big data analysis. And that's, uh, that's I think, a very uh, important development now for the future.